In the beginning, out of the void, infrastructure emerged, and one DevOps tool arose to orchestrate it all. Terraform. In this video, we introduce you to Terraform and its features and show you how to get it for yourself. We break down the two main components of the Terraform architecture and show you how they work in concert, as well as the commands and language, HCL, that make it work. We will also show you the special Terraform providers Cisco DevNet has and many of the cool Terraform resources at DevNet, such as labs, blogs, repos, examples, sandboxes, and use cases. All in all, we'll have you managing and orchestrating your infrastructure as code with Terraform in no time at all. Terraform from HashiCorp, a Cisco partner, is an infrastructure as code tool that lets you define both cloud and on-prem resources in human readable configuration files that you can version, reuse, and share. You can then use a consistent workflow to provision and manage all of your infrastructure through its lifecycle. To use Terraform on your local machine, simply download it from the website. You can also run Terraform on the HashiCorp Software as a Service platform, which has a free tier. Sign up here. The Terraform architecture consists of a core with two input sources, tf-config, which defines what needs to be created or provisioned, and state, which reflects the current state of the setup. Vendors and the Terraform community both maintain providers, which are the API interaction points with your infrastructure. Providers for specific technologies include AWS, Azure, Kubernetes, and Fastly. With the Terraform plan command, the core creates an execution plan, which lets you preview the changes that Terraform plans to make. The Terraform apply command executes the actions proposed in the Terraform plan using the providers. The destroy command removes elements one by one in the correct order following a plan it computes, tearing everything down. At the time of this video's production, Cisco DevNet has providers for these technologies and devices. These providers can currently be found at this URL. Terraform offers a single, easy to read, machine parsable language called HashiCorp Configuration Language, or HCL, which is consistent no matter which technology you are interacting with. In this example, we use HCL to create a subnet across three cloud environments. HCL does not try to abstract away from the service model of each cloud and doesn't force you down the path of the lowest common denominator when interacting with cloud resources. The outcome is that operators don't need to learn how to interact with each API separately and can spend time provisioning infrastructure. Team members have a single view of the subnet creation that is easy to read and understand. Terraform features, order of operations, for provisioning infrastructure, we need to coordinate such subtasks as setting up the security, servers, users, and permissions, and installing a specific version of a tool. These need to be done in the correct order, as one task will depend on another. Terraform is a declarative tool, meaning it will work out the dependencies in this request automatically without the operator needing to know the correct order of operations. As Terraform computes the dependencies between resources, it also knows which resources can be created in parallel. Lifecycle. Many operations teams focus on creating resources to meet business needs, but ignore the resource lifecycle. This can lead to stale infrastructure, which can starve resources. Terraform will keep track of infrastructure, for example, with the subnets we created with HCL a moment ago. If the code is changed, Terraform will work out which elements of the infrastructure need to be updated to make the change. Terraform includes lifecycle management as a default, so more resources are available to the teams that need them. Collaboration. Infrastructure teams can struggle to collaborate when using CLI or even GUI systems. Scripts and API interactions can lead to code sprawl and a lack of visibility into who is making changes. Different capabilities in terms of code or network knowledge mean that not everyone in the team is empowered to make changes. Terraform can integrate directly with version control systems or CI-CD pipelines to implement best practices around code hygiene. Terraform code can also be broken into modules published by teams with the domain knowledge for consumption by other teams who just need the outcome. In this way, infrastructure is more predictable, repeatable, and can be tested. Teams can consume a module without knowing the intricacies of network management. Risk Reduction 
As some teams begin to move fast with automation, while human error is decreased, more risk is introduced of either something going wrong at a large scale or abuse of the automated system. Terraform includes a policy as code framework that is customizable around governance and compliance controls. Types of policies include guardrails for best practice, security policy, and operations governance. At Cisco DevNet, your main hub to learn about Terraform is Cisco with Terraform at developer.cisco.com forward slash automation dash Terraform. DevNet has put together a tremendous landing page on all aspects of Terraform for Cisco with highlighted sections on Intersight plus Terraform, iOS XE plus Terraform, ACI plus Terraform, and MSO plus Terraform, with links to labs, blogs, repos, examples, and even sandboxes. You'll see how to manage your IAC with Terraform by integrating with APIs and automating. Find real-world examples by following links to Terraform use cases on the Cisco Code Exchange. At the time of this video, there are 86 Terraform repos on Code Exchange in various languages such as HCL, Python, and Go, and for various technologies such as SD WAN, AppDynamics, ACI, Data Center, and many more. Visit developer.cisco.com forward slash IAC to learn more about Terraform and infrastructure as code, including providers, Ansible collections, NSO NEDs, and how Cisco enables IAC across the entire network fabric. The best place to practice your Terraform skills is in the DevNet Learning Labs. Within the DevNet Learning Lab Center, labs are organized beginning with large learning tracks, which contain learning modules, which contain learning labs. Here are the current learning modules relevant to Terraform. Within these and other modules are the following learning labs concerning Terraform. 11 out of the 16 learning labs are interactive. Thank you for joining us on our Terraform with DevNet adventure. We've discussed Terraform's features and components and showed multiple ways you can sharpen your Terraform skills at DevNet. To learn and share more, visit community.cisco.com. We're in the DevOps Group Hub in the Developer Hub.